afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Osha, kindly bring in the witness. Thank you. I, Umar Damfa. I, Umar Damfa. I, Umar Damfa. into the microphone, please. Yeah. Into Umar Damfa. I, Umar Damfa. Into Umar Damfa. Into Umar Damfa. Do swear. Ben Kalilako. I, Umar Damfa. Into Umar Damfa. Into Umar Damfa. Do swear. Ben Kalilako. Ben Kalilako. I'll speak the truth. Le Tonya le Fola. Le Tonya le Fola. The whole truth. Tonya Damma. Tonya Damma. And nothing but the truth. Nte fem fola men manke Tonya. Nte fem o fem fola na manke Tonya. So help me God. Koto alama ale indema. Koto alama maru indema. Good afternoon, Mr. Damfa. Inyang, Mr. Damfa. Thank you for agreeing to testify before the TRRC. Para kabake, isunta niya mga kala kila si Diaro di Jans TRRC. Today we want to talk about the following subjects. Bi, malaflan min kachala jang wala minti. Your biographical information. Wala minti fang wala kibaro italong jumati. And your work as a soldier in the Gambia National Army. Ani la doko soldier kunda mas Gambia masakunda tu. Your travels abroad and what you did in those travels. And you know, Tamo, Bantala Banko Kang, a minute key or Tamo Kono. And when you returned and your foray into Farafenye. And in Kabri Muruntana, in Atana, a Samba, a Farafenye. I'll rephrase that. Your, the attack you guys launched at Farafenye Barracks. Okay, I'll be going to meet you at Farafenye Barracks. Your subsequent escape from the territory. In other words, can I hold you at any time? And your arrest and deportation to the Gambia from Senegal. In other words, muta any time in Senegal, can you run in Gambia, Bangkok? The investigations that were carried out against you. To skisro e minke itelakaroto. And what the things that we are done to you in the process? And in cool minketela wo wo kiskisro wato. At NIA. NIA. And at the mile two prisons. And in mile two prisons. And how you came subsequently to be released from prison? And in nata nyama info in nata na in nata bula prison wato kasoto. And the impact of all this on your life? And in wo cool nata mune sabo ite fanga la balu wako. And the impact of uh, serving on you of serving time at my two prison i'm going to serve a ima cabrillo at all came my two prison cabrillo is in here the sort of hong kong and in all this some of the things that were being said about the mandinkas in this country and in all kono be kuma kama umi info mandinko la karoto nangin banko kono jam and uh when you finish you may be given an opportunity to say a few words as closing remarks. Ni wu pareta drong ibe sola puru e la kumakala bangulke kaje kuye la diamo tawala. Are you ready to proceed? Pareta le pruno kontine. 
Mr. Witness? Sir, we better let me go for a parental program. Yes, I am ready. Did you hear everything I have said? I mean for a young yabi mwile. Anka mwile. Yes, I've heard it. And did, do you understand everything that's been said? Yabi for hamling, I mean for a young. Anka mwile. Yes, I've heard it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, before you st st begin your testimony, I must warn you that uh, it is a criminal offense to lie on the oath or to provide false testimony to the commission. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Uh, uh, Mr. Damfa, what are your full names? Mr. Damfa, I told you to come to me. Omar Juf Damfa. My name is Omar Juf Damfa. Are you known by any other names? I don't know what to do. I'm from Liberia. In Liberia, they call me John Damfa. And are you also called by another name? I don't know what to do. I'm from Liberia. I'm from Liberia. No, these are the names I know about myself. How did you metamorphose from Omar to John? Well, when I was in Liberia, that was my operational name. Because if I say Omar, a lot of people will know that I am not a Liberian. And it was important for you to disguise your nationality. And um, silang iti akumate ite le puri kaje ko kela banku ya nyim falling. Anya manka falling otu. No, it's not changing it. No, no, it was necessary. It was important. Ako wabara akumate. For your nationality not to be revealed. Puri kane la banku di ya nyi iwanyar. Anga ka wola kamu. Yes, I did it because of that. Okay. In fact, most if not all of the Gambians that served uh, in Liberia at that time under the NPFL or so forth uh, took Liberian names. Yes, we were all like that there. So, uh, Omar John Omar Juf Damfa, John Damfa, or Juf are all names by which you refer to. Silangakamuta Omar John Damfa, Omar Juf, Obi Mitole Tike Dankumin. Obi Mitole. Yes, they are all my names. What's your date of birth? Silang Munike Tele Wulu Sangoti. 20 June 1964. 20 June 1964. Where were you born? Wulu Tab Munto. Jara Kanukunda Elarar. I was born in Jarakanikunda in the LRR region. Uh, tell us about your education. Primary school ke Pakalindim Primary School. I attended primary school at the Pakalindim Primary School. Pakalindim Secondary Technical School. From there I went to the Pakalindim Secondary Technical School. And you finished in nineteen eighty. In Adela Karangoba nineteen eighty. Yes. What did you do after 1980 when you finished? Uh, the man they named me after I went to him. He, he was a plumbing contractor called Omar Juf. He, he was a plumbing contractor called Omar Juf. What did you go there to do? I went there for him to teach me the art of plumbing. The trade of plumbing. The trade of plumbing, okay. And uh, later you left his company, correct? Yes, I later left that company. And you enlisted in the, into the Gambia National Army. Which year was that? Selection of 1984, but selection was done in 1984. Uh huh. 85 when the training started on the second. We started uh, training in 1985 on the second of which month? Karijima. January. January. Uh, and uh, 
When did you finish training? You trained in Bangwati, Juma? Four months later training. We did four months for the training. So that would take you to April uh, 1995, correct? Yes, that's what happened. Uh, where, where were you deployed upon completion of training? August 27th. I was with the GNA till August 27th. In uh, 85. In 19, 90, 1985. Ah. <laughs> in 1985. Yes. Uh huh. In another selection of another Confederal Army. Then I later went and uh, joined the Confederal Army. And uh, where were you stationed? They took me to the headquarters in Bakao, opposite the Zandam camp. In 1996, you had the opportunity to go for some training abroad. In 1996, Yes, they took me to Senegal for training. Uh, on what? training. The type of training we had there was various. What did you specially focus on especially? Mine and explosive. Yes, we learned mine and explosives. And we learned also learned how to construct bridges well, uh, uh, in wartime where there is a war, how to cross places with bridges. You also did a commando training there. And uh, when you finished your training, where were you deployed? I came back to the Confederal Army again. And uh, did you return to your parent unit later? <laughs> Yes, I went back to the headquarters again. And uh, what happened after that? I came back in 1997. September, I came back to the again. In September, I went back again to the GNA. What two years like a com uh, confederal? I spent two years at the confederal uh, uh, unit. And then? A cola. Another tragedy. I was there. Uh, in Atang, in Samba Farafene. Then they took me to Farafene. What year? Sanju Malawati. Uh, 1989. That was in 1989. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Damfa, you seem to be going back in terms of the years. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have gone as far as 1997. Mm -hmm. when, when you were deployed back to the Federal, mm -hmm. Confederal Army. And then in 1997, September, you, you were redeployed to your parent unit. Not 1997, sorry. Okay. Mm, All, right. All right. Mm, In fact, okay. In fact, in uh, Okay. In fact, yes, there was no confederation in 1995, mm. 1996. Mm. Uh, so uh, let's let's take it back. Huh? Mm. Uh, you were deployed, posted to confederation in 1985-86, right? Yeah. confederation. Huh? Up to 87. 87 okay. Okay. Yes, up to 87. I left so, that place in 1987. Okay, so 1987 you were, uh, you were returned to your parent company. 1987, I was Yes, I was taken back to GNA. And you discharged from the army in 1990? Uh, 1990. Yes, I, I left the army in 1990. You only did six years. Five years. January 1995 to 
sina idina da mune ke kabri bota sojar kunda dum bota ami man na tara do ko lambe sirin since i left the army i was just sitting down without a job mm-hmm. and then akola mm. aha uh-huh. the same 1991 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I had a niece called Dudu Sanyang. Mm-hmm. He came and found me in my compound at Tanji. He told me Swandi Kamara. He told me that there was somebody in Ivory Coast called Dr. Mani. He said he wanted to have ex servicemen he has a company and he want those people to work for him but I was not ready to go but because of my needs because we were very well used to each other and there was a big respect between us Then I later decided uh, to 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 join them. And this Dr. Mane is he known by another name? Sinangi Dr. Mane todo balale ka ko mandi minna. Ah kabrin te balon na ko ka fu me do tam mane kabrin do fira lai bira da ngaro ko ko samba sa nyanda. He is uh, initially we call him Dr. Mane but when I arrived in Liberia that's the time I came to know that he is Kukoi Samba Sanyang. And Kukoi Samba Sanyang Uh, of of the 1981 uh, disasters uh, ku attempt in migam and no min ku de ku ko samba sani wolom ni 1981 ku de ta min keta nun jam te fonglo ta mo ki mo fonglo is the same person uh, what kind of company were you told he had te ni company si fanya de le yow mi mu fe gaté wol soto service So he want people who should be Gambians. Uh, did you go alone? Idam male tata nungi. Ani idam mama nta. No, I didn't go alone. Who did you go with? Ni ju male tata nu. Ni suandi kamara tata nyola. I went along with suandi kamara. Ni ndi lead dauda nyasi tata nyola. Ni lead dauda nyasi. Ni ndi lead lamin dabo tata nyola. Ni lead lamin dabo. Ani MM Koli. And MM Koli. I hope Emmanuel Koli is alive. Yes, Emmanuel Koli go balur ne. Yes, he is alive. <laughs> okay, and uh, where did you start your journey from? Na ngalla ngi tali ya kuma sin tole. Ah, ntata ni Zikansor la. He went via Zikansor. Mhm. Eh, kada Tambakunda. And he went on to Tambakunda. Na train ota Tambakunda ntata Mali. He joined a train at Tambakunda and went to Mali. Mbe karte yomo to kafu jele. Bamako? Ah Bamako la Bamako. Yes, where we were staying that area is called Bamako. And then then from Bamako from Babirim from Bamako Allah jannata moto ta Bamako ko to ken tata Burkina Faso. We spent the night at Bamako then the following day we joined a vehicle and went to Burkina Faso. We were in the second capital Bobo Jurasu. We went to the second capital called Bobo Jurasu. Hmm. Mboda Bobo Jurasu. He left Bobo Jurasu. Bosso ta wadan tata Wagadugu. He took a bus from there and went to Wagadugu. Based at Dameka for Avenue Moronaba. Where we based was called Avenue Moronaba. And there after? Okay, the base in Oroto. That's where we were based. Eh, on the way to be Mangu Gojet. All the time we have not yet met Kuku. We got a man name from Majede. We didn't see Dr. Mane up to that time. But one day, but one day, eh, in order for you to ka ken no me fangata ngata ya. He came to me and told me that the man they are talking about, let's go to him. Nata blado so do Burkina Faso barol melon ko baro expensive tabakel. 
There was somewhere in Burkina Faso a very expensive bar. Oh, yes, somebody. You took us there. Expensive or extensive? No, I buy. Come here, buy you. I think it's a bakery. I think it's a yadi. And that. Yeah, yeah. Kuko bele beje dal. Everything is in that bar. Ah, so bar. What is everything? Kuko bele. Niko kuko bele. Mun mun na mud. Come in bar. We bar on me alone ko. Niko domo ro ni ni feng feng or jamal du asia reje le dal. Well, it's in terms of food, you have a lot of things, food and a lot of things there. So, when we went there, they said this bar belongs to him. But I said somebody who they said was in Ivory Coast. How can he have a bar here? Is this something? Is this something? Is this something? Is this something uh, very clear? <laughs> but even there, we were still unable to see this Dr. Mane they are talking about. Two weeks now, like Burkina Faso. He spent two weeks at Burkina. The third week, he is not afraid to go to Sankara Ivory Coast. In the third week, they said, now we are going to Ivory Coast. Do you believe that plane or men? The plane we boarded. But when the plane was in the back of the bus, when we were going on board the plane, our bags were searched. When she ran plane, no one. After we sat down on board the plane, we saw a man come into the plane, a fair-colored person. Our security is bad. Followed by his security men. We name Charles Terod. They said this man is the man called Charles Terod. I said. I said then today this place will be something will happen here. <coughs> Why did you think so? Why uh, what do we have with Charles Taylor? <laughs> so at that point we cannot uh, disembark from the plane. Plane take off That's how the plane took off. Between uh, uh, Ivory Coast and Liberia la border. It went and landed between the Ivory Coast and uh, Liberia's border. But of course, this was the type of the NPFL. NPFL. Yes, this was NPFL. Yes. And, and uh, this was just two years after the NPFL was launched. One year. Mm -hmm. One year, because it was, yes, they started in 89, but the official launch is 1990 from Nimba County. Yes. See, please. We went at night. We traveled only at night. Who funded your travel? You mean I told you in time on independence? Mem, you can remember when Gabe Swandi left. Swandi camera lam. What all we spent, Swandi camera was responsible for all our expenditure. So Swandi was a recruiting agent also. Sila kamuta ko Swandi atle ka al karande kalta ka kal kal bundi o fengko ko. Atle lam. Yes. Proceed. So I not in a convoy to our land. That's how we formed a convoy from Nimba County. From Nimba County. Where the land from Dunda Bon County. We ran like that until we went into Bon County. From Dunda Bon County to Momena Kidikeswa Kar Sangi Kesejili. The time we arrived at the Bon County, bullets were raining down like the how rain comes from the sky. No one caring, Jang. I said, what is happening here? And we are uh, uh, during we are, at that time there was a ceasefire. We can do ceasefire. Kiri wako mada oroni ma wins kiri ken tuanya ona roba kala mo kudoli. I said uh, during a ceasefire, bullets are raining like this. Then if there is no ceasefire, Mr. Tatuna mandi ni yame mfun kaka na sori le ni idia muda na idia mo kandro multa muila. Where the ecosystem fire be carrying, Kirikeso be sanjijila. What do you mean, Kelo be carrying? Mune be Kela. He said that during a ceasefire, if bullets are raining on people, now when there is a war, what is going to happen? Uh huh. Nata na samba yankuba samate la bumot. Then they took us to Yankuba Samate's house. Omu Gambian old from Badubuja, Sali Kenya, ni mangina. He is a Gambian. I think if I can remember, he is from Sali Kenya. Nata lungo, yara fang Gambia, Liberia jang Gambia nolbe jani. 
When I said to myself, oh, only hold in Liberia here, you have Gambians here. But up to that point, we are still unable to see Dr. Mani. Youngs, what was his name? Youngs. Well, I gave it away, sorry. But what was his full name in Liberia? We are finally Youngs, General Youngs. They call him General Youngs. Was he Smith? Hmm? Was he Smith? Smith five, oh, from five. Yes, he is also called Smith. Yes, proceed, please. Uh, not a tragedy. We were there. But he had no control from the Kokoros because for your control of the But uh, they also realized that we are ex servicemen. Also, the Kuman among from Kekoy and Samba Kari. And Kekoy Ali Samba Min? Kari, Kari. And they said we should be taken to a place called Kari. It's a place where they have cattle and many other animals which are reared in that place. Tata wadonga Mustafa Jiba Taraji. He went there and found Mustafa Jiba Taraji. Tata wadonga Mustafa Jiba Taraji. He went there and found Mustafa Jiba there. Tata wadonga Mustafa Jiba Taraji. 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 Tata they call him Mustafa Makaroon. We spent some few days there also. But Liberia, there is one thing about them. Before we came to know about the place, we were nearly killed by hunger. Liberia, 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 we were nearly killed by hunger. Have lunch, you will not have dinner. normal time, all of an ambiji. And even their normal time, that's what the system there. But small things that you can eat around are plenty. Because they are sufficiently endowed. We were at Mustafa's place. One man came there and we were told that this man is Kukoi's deputy. Gafai General Abulaiba. They call him General Abulaiba. Short and strong. Yes. Kiata Bambanta. Yes. Ah, in order for you to be Kukwe Sambasanyan's deputy. They told us this man is Kukwe Sambasanyan's deputy. How many Gambian generals did you have there? To all the Gambian generals who gave us to give. Hmm. So we had to follow the general manshiade. When we initially, initially arrived, there were not many generals. Nam miro to what man ni general beje abegala chasero ala bodyguard. At that time, if there was a general, I think he was chasero's bodyguard. Rafa Jere Koli. They call him Jere Koli. Anga mira wato wala. And Jere Koli was General Jackson. Jackson. Ah yes, Jere Koli was General Jackson. Young too, wasn't he a general? Young, but from a general. And later on, Young Kuma also became a general. And Ablaiba also was a general. Ablai is three-star general. Ablai was a three-star general. Lieutenant general. Lieutenant general. So, what? How about Mr. Fa Makaroni? He, 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 he. Mr. Fa was was a lieutenant colonel. Lieutenant. Mr. Fa was a lieutenant colonel. Gambians ruled Liberia. Am I talking Gambians? So all the Liberia Mara? Ah, need to know before can carry. Well, if the truth comes out, Gambians are the most powerful in Liberia. Gambians were very powerful in Liberia. Without a doubt, the Gambians are the most powerful in Liberia. Wherever you have serious trouble, if a Gambian is not there, then you will not go. Well, not at all, my dear. That's how we were there. Eh, in general. Ablaiba. This general Ablaiba. Another from Mustafa Iko Konto to Nolojem Bita for Grand Basa. He told Mustafa that we cannot remain there. We have to go to Grand Basa. Grand Basa. Basa Basa yes in Bichama. Grand Basa in Bichama. Mudi nata na Samba Bichama. They took us to Bichama. But Omo Udunta 2000 and 1990. Because 91 and Dunda, that Dunda 1992 come sign. Now it was we were in 92 at that time. In other words, at this stage, have you already been integrated into the NFL? Sila wawato to yal Dundi. Or NPFL, right? Fuka bere, fuka pare NPFL. Ako sign ko imbakumbete malo. Yes, at that time we were in the middle of things. 
Initially, I was just a fighter. If I was given a rank, it was an operational rank. Ah, which was? I was a captain. captain. Which was a captain. Um, not at all. Not You led a company. Now, yes. company that's how we were. Not on documents They came and took our documents. Up to this time, have you met Kukoy? Up to new Dr. Male. Up to that time, we haven't seen Dr. Male. Did you willing, willingly enlist? What do you want to do? Because we were already in the middle of things. At that moment, you can refuse. Because the way Liberia was, because how things were going on, Gambians held many prisons. If you come to Nimba County, where we entered through, Marakoli was responsible for that. If you go to Lofa, General. General Jallo was there. What's his name? Tundi. Atabota Ndembanli. He's from Demban. Did he have a Liberian name? A Liberian Tosotole. Mustafa, Mustafa Jallo. Mustafa Jallo. Roman Kalari Adalari, Mamra, Mustafa Sanya, I don't know. For Sanya, I don't know. But I'm not sure. General Jallo. Whether he would know he was Mustafa Sanya or Sanya, but they call him General Jallo. Wala Marta Lofa. He was the guy in charge of Lofa. Uba Jira Kondodunda Wadon, Puriya Kanariya Fintin Wola Ibira Kona Bakolala. By the time when we went into Liberia, to come out, out of that country was really difficult. Lunta Wala Mudi Dunda. If you are a stranger and you happen to go in, and the time you were going in, it was late at night. Uh, and daybreak, you see yourself in, in the country, and Banga was in the middle of Liberia. So I think they were not uh, sure of us. Or there was no trust. That's why they decided to take us to Grand Bazaar. Unfortunately, Janin Iba fola curriculum fola njamo. Unfortunately, before two months, Ukoi na atakabona Ghana. Ukoi came from Ghana. Man, ina ulungola uat ulungola. I cannot forget that day. Unene njia Ukoi jenyal. That was the day I set eyes on Ukoi. I can learn for Dr. Manning inam. Oh, I said to myself, the man they call Dr. Mane, so Liberia this is the person. In the whole of Liberia, they only call him Dr. Mane. They don't call him Kukoi. That's the time they sat down with him and had a meeting. That's how we all joined. As we all joined. But uh, what did he want from you? Um, but we found them doing was they helped child Stelo in fighting when they were ready they come to the Gambia but at that time Jawara was the head of state and you agreed to that enterprise yes Okay, and uh, you continue to participate in fighting in Liberia. Continue. Uh, uh, yes, but before the fighting itself, now how we were there, that's how they came to know. They knew that we were old soldiers. They said we should go to Cobra Base. That was Charles Taylor's advanced training base. Before we attacked Monrovia. But that was a base shared with Fode Sanko, was it? 
bare wood la ñi fo de sanko fa nang da bi jele ni fo de da taw to no fo de was not part of that ñu tel na ma seru ñu ñan jew wood la to i've never seen a religion on that quran mu tam ben kala i held the quran and swore abnu ala to la ñu indi and this is allah's name nga to ñaa fo la fi sa nga fa ñaa i will tell the truth is better telling telling than telling lies this is a very important point perhaps for other reasons but proceed comme ni muku ko mal ndo bareti bare pour ko do do bare sen ete so continue no nata ta cobra bis we went to cobra bis o sa atra lay bi lan o lel ke boy sur karandi because people were taught by librarians bare nata fo sa into li campo in ta librarian o bun to li ate ko ba but when we arrived they said we should take over the camp from the librarians tell them it was himself do sa na Dudu sanya, late dudu sanya, late dawu da nyasi, late dawu da nyasi, emem koli, emem koli, late lamin dabo, late lamin dabo, ni juma suwali, suwali kamara, tol mo, an suwali kamara, an an you are all ex service men, tol be mo ex service man oli, an we are all ex soldiers, on another trip di ke boys will train, then we are there training the boys, before 1992 kelo ema. Before the war started in 1990, when you were alone, you made all the miracles. Charles Taylor in the capital of Morovia. Those who don't know will think that it was Charles Taylor who attacked uh, uh, Morovia. I read the Quran. But I held the Quran. I'm a genius. I'm a man. I'm a man. What I saw with my eyes and what was said. Ekomok. Ekomok. All the more fun to all the lakaro. The the problem came from them. Because. 15 gate because 15 gate obe habel is at a place called habel ni bota jere kata morovia if you leave that place you go to morovia 15 gate be ekomo le 15 gate was in the hands of the ekomo i remember the born on la morovia nya di refo na mo mo masaka in 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 habel so how can rebels come from morovia and come and kill people at habel koko cha sielo They said it was Charles Taylor. In a 1992 Kelowna. This is what triggered the 1992 war. Radu tare de. But it was really tough. Kabri 15 gate. Starting from 15 gate. We kelendi le fonga na 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 red light table. We fought them until we took the place called red light from them. Ghana a Vanas Ghana's Vanas Ville table. We took Vanas Ville from them. We took New Jersey also from them. We took a lot of places 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 Gambians don't fight in Liberia. If anybody tells you that, you don't lie to you. You don't lie to you. Instead of any other violence, Gambians tell you they are fighting in Liberia. No, they are in Liberia. They are in Freeport. They are there, but based at Freeport. They are located. You see them. One platoon was involved in fighting. A platoon. And Captain Kambi was injured. It could be. It could be, but I have not seen them. But all these things are interesting. But let's move to the more important points. You you served in Liberia until 1994. It after like red milia gave for 1994 somewhere. Ah. Yes. And uh, then what happened after that? Mwana take okola. Ah barnisi yako bonye nga pon doro so do mbe men declare for for la pro men 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 kata pro a mon si mon si jamaa sa lo nyam. I want you to forgive me. There is a point which I want to uh, uh, declare here so that people will know about it. Yes, na on 1992 kelony in the war in 1992 abrina ekomok defeat when we defeated the ekomok ye yeah, jet fighter tankama they took jet fighters against us ba bira la nga cluster bomb je cluster bomb it was in liberia that i saw a cluster bomb na na mo je na bomb wala i've never seen it in my life you didn't cluster bombs be illegal ah ma je la ni ni amina ni parasu do la kana Yes, I saw it. They dropped it along with a parachute. 
We saw some of them which didn't explode, just like a barrel. Because in Liberia you have many swamps, uh, a lot of water. Where it falls down, if it is in water, it will explode. I saw it with my eyes there. In 1992, the Ghanaian members of the Ekomok, they are the people who went to Bichama. General Babe Daming, where General Ba was, documents were battle of Bruno. He was having our documents. When you know your documents were tied, they took over your base. Yes, they took over the base and captured our documents. I know your doc. When you know your document, the bondi. Yes, those documents were the documents sold by Ghana. And that's why they said, oh, Gambians were are still fighting, are fighting for Charles Kelo. And that was the time they sent those papers in Jawara's time. Control be fatally. Saying that we've all died. Control less than be advantage in a cup from Colbella. And uh, our deaths were announced here, and uh, they did the necessary things for us. You, you mean your family did the necessary things for you? Yes, they did everything because they said that I was already there. But this was during Jawara's time. Mm -hmm. And later? Then from uh, 1995. Mm -hmm. From 1995. Mm -hmm. It was the time when Kukoi said, let's come to the Gambia. But by that time, we also, we were tired in Liberia. Why? Not because because Kukoi, Kukoi, if you see him this year, before you see him again, it takes a long time. Whether we were alive or dead, he doesn't care. He's always by himself. But it, but it was said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. They said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. Yes, that's what they said. 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 However long a stick stays in water will not be able to transform into a crocodile. Well, as uh, 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 enjoyment. Well, if you talk about enjoyment, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. but you enjoy. Yes, however, the war was going on, but we also enjoy. It will be in special forces. We were all among the special forces. Had ten bodyguards more than the assault. If you want, you can have more than ten bodyguards. And you can go to anywhere you want to time for a candle wasly. Sometimes they even hire me. I don't take that down, downloaded Liberia, down that jet or the new new year, you go join them to Rambo, better be like. Because anywhere at a ghetto in Liberia, when they say John or Rambo, they will give me away. So you also became Rambo. So I come to go to find another kid Rambo. Yes. And. Uh, uh, Youngs was one of those that controlled the executive mansion. Youngs for now that they will be able to control the executive mansion. Okay, that Allah Ghana Charles Selo attacked Ghana meeting hola. Yes, that happened because Charles Selo went to Ghana for a meeting. Mm -hmm. Go back, Robin White ka interview no. If one can remember, Robin White interviewed him. Akafai ko mfere banga. And said to him, I am at Banga. Can you hear a generator? The sound of a generator. Really, he was not at Banga. He was at the border. Every coast Liberian border. Every coast of Liberian border. Because on that at that time, General eight eight generals. Eight generals. They connived. They came and burnt down our mansion. They took away all our guns. Those the things they cannot carry, they burnt them. But at that time, Charles Taylor was in Ghana. 
which was the moment jump. It was. Was this part of the negotiations for the Accra Accords? No, I think it was the same time. You must have been there, Mr. Chair. <laughs> so, so I say, now, when the mansion was born, they wanted to advance and come to the area where we were. They were going to be a little bit. They wanted to advance and come to the area where we were. When they had that that place, the uh, Gambians there, they came, they went back. But on that day also, I saw the three star general come up and come meet the three star general. The person we call a three star general. Long a special day. Well, on that day he he was he was afraid. Ah, come to the back of the yard. I'm going to turn. I come more quickly. I'm going to turn. I'm going to surrender. He said, "What are we going to do now? Let's go and surrender to the economic economic forces." I said, "Come my dead body." I said to him, over my dead body. Maybe somebody will come to testify here who will say that yes, this happened. I said to him, we die is better than handing over ourselves to the economic soldiers. But I try to find out how to chase them. I don't know how to solve them. I don't know how to bring them back. But later on, we fought, tried until we took Banga from them. When Charles Taylor returned, that was the time when he brought us closer to him himself. We were his guards. Because he didn't trust anymore his own people. It was us who were guarding him now, Gambians. Uh, yes, and uh, in fact, some of them, like. Youngs later became ambassador. Bowling yama for honey. Youngs for another nake ambassador. Charles Taylor's ambassador to Charles Libya. Charles Taylor ambassador to Libya. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So you guys wielded a lot of authority in Liberia. Mdokato li ali kamusu to Liberia. A lot of full experience. Ali ali londo yama soto mingi. You became battle hardened. Nata ke ke la jawa. Nata ke ke la jawa rolti. You also became Rambo. And you decided to come to Gambia. That's true. Tell us what happened when you came. So when we came back, when I came back, and before and before that, I took a Quran. Well, when Allah wants to do something, it happens. Sometimes he blame people. But whatever Allah destines for a person will never, will always happen. I have one brother, Baba Job's younger brother, Sirif, Sirif ba, ba Job, Sirif Ba Job. He said, younger brother, I said, Nam. He said to me, Kuko is trying to take you people away. But now Samba Gambia Barjan Fal. But when he takes you to the Gambia, he will betray you. But I didn't heed his word. That's how we came. But how we came? Documents central. Because we had no documents. I Well, I don't know how he did it, how he did this. But he tried and made available to us Senegalese ID cards, which were in the form of a booklet. With the flag, ah, the colors of the you. flag running through it. We all traveled with those documents. With your own pictures affixed on it? Yes, all our, our every yeah, man's pictures. I don't know how he got that from the Senegalese oh, yeah, but I don't know. I forgot one thing also. Important. It's also important for people to know. When we were in Liberia, what really angered me later, I see Kazama's rebels coming to Kukoi. He was dealing with them. Yes. Yes. In Liberia. Ah, Liberia. Yes. They come all the way to Liberia. 
I saw that many times. What kind of dealing were they involved in? But what they were doing, what they were up to, was not clear to me. But the moment you see them, you will know that they are not Gambians, they are from Kazamas. How do you know that? They themselves say this. They said they are Kazase. That's the time when we know that. Then Kukoi has a hand in the Kasamas. Allah created a human being. A human being is not something, is not a joke. If you want to play human with human beings, you will never have peace, you yourself. Okay, you came to Gambia. When we came to the Gambia. I'll tell you mm -hmm. sorry. We were divided into two groups. We were many because some were stationed at Tambakunda. That was Swandi and his group. So we were all divided into two groups. We were at Kaula. We were at his group. We were at Kaula. We were at Kaula. All of you were from Liberia, or there were some who were co-opted from other places. Um, mm -hmm. be in Liberia, but all of you were from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. We were all from Liberia, but we were all from Liberia. No, they were not soldiers. What I know, what was going to be their role in your enterprise? Well, what I thought for bringing those people into the country, I don't know, I have never known that they have been soldiers. In total, how many were you? Well, we were a little. We were less than 22 people. That was in Kaulah or both Kaulah and uh, uh, this place. Uh, and Tamba, whatever the name of the place, put together. If you add all of us, we were less than 20 people. Well, those who were at Tamba were more than us. Okay. Did you have any weapons? It is a we were, no, we didn't have guns. So this was whose government in Gambia at the time? Chila watu, jumala masakundala binu Gambia jangu watu. Former president, Yaa Jami. It was Yaa Jami's regime. So he wanted to overthrow Jawara, that failed. Chila laftan... He now wants to overthrow Yaa Jami. Chila laftan unka Jawara kudeta wa tinyada. Anata muru mkote kalafika Yaa Jami fana kudeta. Ansi kuma, kuma, ila wa kwekishona beda da baki. That question is very good. Was Nsi Kuma phone or Fanantole? But I can say something because I can say something about that too. Um, Kabri Yai Kudeta, Kabri Yai Kudeta, Kasoksita. When Yai succeeded in his Kudeta, Kasello Fanko Gambian Oleko signed Alinta Sailal. Kasello himself told the Gambians, now you should go home. Because what you wanted has now happened. Now you can go home. Kasello Fanko Nar Jambang. Whether it was Charles Selo himself who came here, but our leaders were the people who came. And I told them before that, those of us who came from the Gambia recently, we ex-soldiers. If things should be done rightly, we are the ones who should go because we know the Gambia. But they didn't agree to that. When these people's crew succeeded, I saw their pictures. Okay, yeah, uh, former president Jammy. Former president Jammy. Now one year six months in the camp. I spent one year six months with him at the camp. 
the, 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 the story building where he was staying is, was behind me. They called the place Yamatol. Well, we knew him as Kanilai. I didn't know his name as Yaya. Okay, Yankuba Ture. Yankuba Ture. I know him. I know him. When I was leaving, if I remember, Sanasabali, he was a recruit. Edward Mandunde Jala. Edward didn't join the army in my presence. Hydra. Hydra. I didn't. I don't know him. When I saw their pictures in Liberia, I said there are two people here who I recognize. Yankuba and Salam. Captain, and I, they said, this man is called Jamme, Captain. I said, but when I was leaving the army, there was no left man called Jamme. But when I left the Zandam army, but saying that he left the Zandam and went to the army, that didn't find me in the Gambia. This is why I was unable to recognize him. Before I saw that picture before we left Liberia. But if things were done rightly, that's the party party from for But our leaders forced themselves to come. Well, if I can remember those who came, Domingo Domingo came. Who's Domingo? Who's Domingo? Domingo. The late Domingo. Does he say from Nyomi? What he say? Mood Sisi. Mood Sisi from Nyomi. He was the guy who uh, uh, decided to uh, stay yes, that could He was the guy who decided to stay that could be taken at one. He was the guy who decided to stay that could be taken at one. But he ran out. And the late, he got out of the way. Abdu Kumbasar. Abdu Kumbasar. Yeah. All of these people were generals. Yes, all of them were generals. But when they came, what they left here with, we didn't know. But, but if you have rebel generals <laughs> coming to lieutenant head of state, <laughs> obviously it's an unholy combination. <laughs> Okay, things didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And you resolved to come and overthrow the government of the Gambia. Ha. Ha. Yes. And this was in 1996. Yes, you were in Kaolak. And you have another group in Tambakunda. And yes, those people at Tambakunda we had that they were already arrested. Yes, those people at And yes, those people at Tambakunda we had that they were already arrested. So the ones who were in Kaula, which were which was us, we attacked the Farafenya camp. Tell them. Myself. Abiro Demba. Abiro Demba. Later Blay Songko. Later Blay Songko. Balo Kante. Balo Kante. Ramo Jiba. Ramo Jiba. Keba Sano. Keba Sano. I'm Rabanta. I think that's it. Yeah, the, the invisible, the late. The late invincible. Yeah, drum. Yeah, yeah drum. <laughs> Even invincible is late. You can't be invisible for now, for now, for now. Yes. He died in the jail. Oh, yeah, he's so arrested. You were seven. Ah, yes. And you came yeah. to Gambia without weapons. Another um, Gambia and you kidding me? Um, kido ben bulle. Yes, we had guns. But if there were guns manufactured by our uh, blacksmiths, it wasn't good. Not good at all. So how did you manage? It's just like a council. We, are, we were used to fighting. We Allah forgive us. But we saw with our eyes in Liberia. Well, what I can do is to uh, give thanks to Allah. 
So that because so today I see myself sitting there with this. Back, back, back. Well, that great thanks to. I don't Because where I was, if I happen to die there, it can be. I don't know if the file will be my road. Well, it is Allah who takes care of His. Whatever Allah says, that's what happens. Well, if you are invincible, you can dodge bullets. Kamu tak kau ning ite ni bukian. But you see fighting. People think that it is uh, arms that do the fighting. Yes, true. Arms participate in fighting, but fighting is done with the heart. The time we were fighting against jet fighters. Wherever we didn't go, if you have librarians there, they will run away and leave the whole place. Allah kuma kamo dama dama dunai musjamare wulundi jemeli angkono matu alamu. The the sound of the jet fighter, only the sound, has made many pregnant women to deliver. So kelo manke koko afoko jora jora mude. No, fighting is not only weapons. It is with bravery. But, but you had you had judges Liberians didn't have. But I told several Balbuni and Liberians. Yes, you have very very good judges. Somebody if somebody shoots you with an RPG, somebody, something to a cow tail will just shake the cow tail. If he shakes the cow tail and takes, tells the RPG bullet to drop here, that's where it will drop. There are things that you rub on your body. This is interesting, but yeah, we, we have that. to avoid the overlap. Sorry, it will not. It will not jam more. Can I say something? Come on, let's say it. Our he, our people here, they give you duties to tie in the baranda wall, which prevents a bullet. That's not there. That's not there. They be called the robber junjun neka. If they give it to you, and the moment you turn your back, they will shoot you. And din 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 wala kaga la silo la din 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 din. And these are prepared by very small boys. And those things worked. And what call can I tama? Liberia. Liberia. Allah ne wonso de. Endowed them. How many people died in your in your presence? La moja le fara ite. Um, to la moja man fara inya la je phone. I think. Go fara ni General Jackson. People, two people died in my presence, but. After I left, that's the time when Domingo and General Jackson. How about Liberians? Liberians or what? How about Liberians? And all both of them. Liberians died in groups. I don't have to do all. We only have four four Kenya brothers. Because they drink until they drink and use drugs. But how about all those champs? They they forgot to wear them or to rub themselves. Yeah, we suffer with fasal. Yeah, from fasal. If you hear a juju is protecting you, you have to protect yourself first. If you don't protect yourself, jujus will not protect you. <laughs> All right. So, in November 1996, seven of you, mm. battle-hardened Gambian, uh, how would I call them, mercenaries from Liberia? Gambian. However you say it, there is nothing wrong with it. Thank you very much. You came to Farafenye. Tell us what happened. When we came to Farafenye, we went there with two local guns. These local guns which were manufactured by blacksmiths. Uh, before Nata. Before we went, what we said was that let's try and capture the camp. That was our mission to capture the camp. And when we went, we went through the back gate. You had served in Farafenye. Yes, I was in Farafenye. So in Farafenye, I I was taken to Farafenye on two occasions. Ah? The late Nurcham. The late Nurcham. Then I tell them, when they are the baby engineer, 
we were all part of the engineering unit. And he, he liked me a lot in those days. Wherever he is going to, he will ask me to go with him. When he was being transferred to Farafenya, that's how he took me along to Farafenya until I completed my time there. Ah. Yes. So, when we came through the back gate, we found the sentry man smoking cigarettes. I said to him, sentry man, you are smoking. I said to him, sentry man, you are smoking. No bullet was fired there. We don't have AK-47. We had these local guns, which, which weren't even good. He just <laughs> threw his gun and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> no gun was fired at the Farafenya camp. I didn't see it there. So they all melted. That's how they all left the camp. Because Branson. Because Branson. He said this at the high court. Invincible. Yeah, yeah. Around eight o'clock, I was sitting on the bench. Officer Sola. It was Bransel who, uh, it was Invincible who found Bransel uh, in the uh, mess room and arrest, arrested him there. Allow the interpreter to, to land. Okay, I see. And, tell, and told him to sit down. Uh, no, no, no. He said, no, no, no. Form of high court, le. I myself said uh, that at the high court. Captain or details in in the pura, in the uh, he said to him, this, this, this man is a captain. He didn't do anything to you. Give him the respect. That's how we captured him. Because when we attacked the place, we broke the Amori first. And in that Amori also, apart from AK, there was only one RPG. Mm. The motors in there weren't good. Mm. We were there like that till daybreak. And we saw that there is no way to way. Now it's daybreak. What are we going to do? And I said, no, let's advance them. We took one driver. We put bullets and gun, guns in that uh, uh, vehicle. We came all the way to Bobolong. That's where we met up with Peter Singer and his troop. And they are shooting to place there. But nobody died there. Uh, but in Farafenye, mm -hmm. was it there a soldier who was injured? They said soldiers died there. But I didn't see it. Did you shoot? No. no. Well, it was seven of you. I, I took the Quran and swore. I didn't fire in Hadamadimoti. Hadam but I fought really in Liberia. I'm in Baobolong. When we met at Baobolong, we met with Peter there. Uh, with his troop. So you fell at the We shot each other there. I wrote to my father already. Because it was already daylight. They dispersed so that they can try and capture us. So we were in the middle. Maneuver the wall, yaman dunla wulo kong. That's how we maneuvered and went into the bush. Esabal the mofulo. Myself and Esabal the two two of us went together. We spent the night in the bush like that. Yeng 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 manje. They saw the orders, but they didn't see us. The following day, the following day we came back. We came and roasted some gallows. Uh, one lady came and told us that soldiers were looking for people around here. Then I said, ah, we are also looking for... That's how we crossed Bobolong and went along up to Farafenye. But it was at night. At border. We came to the border. That's how we tried and uh, looked for a vehicle. We crossed and went to Kaula. How about your weapons? We threw all those arms away. Because in Senegal, in those days, if they see guns with you, they say you have to allow the interpreter to land. Thank you. So, so, so you escaped. 
Uh, but uh, what is of, uh, what's interesting is when you took over the camp, mm -hmm. What did you do to the soldiers who were there? Ako si lang kabrato yung kampong nintang soldier ulo. Al natin mo nakiya soldier ulo lam nubin nungi. Di wala bili. There was no soldier. For branch yung mga mga mula. Except they are still fully captured. All the others melted. They all ran away. I didn't see any soldier there. Good news. And what happened to the vehicle that you had stocked with uh, with? Arms and ammunition. Lang moto ni mune na taka wala aliyala kibol ni dundi mingko no. Ano tulo 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 manuva tulo dunda ulo kono tani isa. We maneuvered and got into the bush. Yanja isa. Dundi tara dunda tani isa mo mo fulo tapa. This we this we tapa no. Dispersed. Others went one way and myself and Isa we went the other way. Did did you see anybody who was shot amongst you? Any person amongst you? Lang atro kono e mo jele mi alon ko e ate bunne. Yes, someone was shot in our group. Balo bunga singo to ali because of bashing or mambo. Balo was shot on the leg, and the bullet is still in his leg. But my side, because of bashing or katile. You know, Suleiman Sar, because of bashing or katile. Suleiman Sar also suffered a broken leg. You did not mention Suleiman Sar. Iman Suleiman Sar, come off him. That would make you eight. Puru wasali kenu almost say. Yes. Did, did all of you escape? Atul bo atul be na takan alibang. Ha yalo sudo kabring mak mak makang kita. After the engagement in the night. Some of our people even left us. Borderly. And they ran away. Was karamu biji ba borderly? Because karamu biji ba ran away. Kabir or demba maji. Yes. Karamu biji ba borderly. Because karamu biji ba ran away. Kabir or demba maji. We did not see Kabir or demba. Kebab sano maji. We did not see Kebab sano. We did not see Kebab sano. So it was only the five of us who were left. Solbalo. 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 Okay. Solbalo. Sato was shot. Then another towel nyama. Then you Isa. So I went along with Isa. I went to the former wife. Isa what? Isa Balde. Isa Balde. So that would make you nine. Takam tak kau tulis mau kau nontolong? Ama isat aku. No, ada tu kalau isat mau. Kabiru demba, ablai songko, balo kante, karamujiwa, kebasano, invincible, Suleiman Sar, Esa Valde, and yourself. Entah apa former wife musa negara itu nu. My former wife was a Senegalese. Orang tak faham saya ngada ngada tahu tu. So I told Esa, let's go there. Go back a bit harder, bro. But when we went there, I just suggested that we bring her into two more lines. After looking at that situation there, I told him we couldn't stay here. One of my brother, at that time, one of my brother, that's how I address him. He gave me his address. We be Dakarika for Kalje Ume. Picking for picking Nyaritali Lembamal. Nyaritali. He was in Dakar at a place called Picking Nyaritali. We bought. Sulit mak eh ablai sungguh eh booming rekrutmu. But the boy that was recruited by ablai sungko, si kafah eh Yusufa, called Yusufa. Yusufa. Yusufa Silla. Yusufa Silla. Nama dia Coach Silla lah bro dalam. I think Coach Silla's brother. Ah, yes. Nama dia bro dalam. I think it's his brother. So untuk nak tawol ya. So we went to him. No, sorry, before nak fikir apa. Even before we got to do Dubai, we went to do Dubai. We went to Dubai. We went to Dubai. I did not know Dubai. I only had Mo Mola Martin. I only had his name, but he was. Kamu berani aku nyok aku atau lo kau isal hamudlah. He was Kukoi's man. Aku nyok but Fengke Kanar eh Fengke Edward Singat and Nigel with twelve million. He said Edward Singat came with twelve million. Ni mo mo ala muda bo 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 dila. For as a reward for anyone that. Captures you. Twelve million what? For, for twelve million dollars. For for CFA and Bamma. Whether it was Dallas or CFA, I do not know. You don't know about what I want to do. I Yusufa. So we left there and went to Yusufa. After Yusufa, you don't know what I want to already. At that time, Yusufa already knew about our situation. And you don't know what I want to do. And we were not also acquainted with that. Address on him media la. The address that we gave him, Yusufa knew from all the school. We are from NIABG. In fact, in inside Yusufa's compound, there was an LIA agent there. In the car. In the car phone. Inside the car. In Charoy. In Charoy. Ah. Yes. We went to the border with him. So we left there and went. I bring a lot of women down to Tamala, Dakar, Sato. Since morning, we are working in Senegal. 
Just <laughs> Just inquiring about someone does not mean you get a And just does not make you find uh, him. It's not like the Gambia. <laughs> if you have to intervene here, please. Uh, could you allow for three seconds between your speech and that of the interpreters? Three seconds sabad rumbula ining kana sorlangi tema. Thank you. By God's grace and uh, one man, I asked him and when I showed him the paper, but you can do more That uh, man was a marabu, was a marabu, a big one. Then he asked where are you from, and I explained to him. Then another funny model be jana, but he not a restaurant. He said to me, there is one marabu over there, but uh, let's go to the restaurant. He took us to the restaurant and bought us food and bought us drinks. Then he gave us uh, the direction to that place. When we got there, I said to him, we are asking for so-and-so person. And he said, I am the one. And he was not the one. He thought that we had come to do some marble work. I said to him, do you know so and so person? He said, no. I said to him, then you are not the one. That route that we took, we that we were going to be as we took a bend, the sharing to us uh, uh, photograph was on the uh, the wall. Uh, we we told, told. That was the place, but we had gone past it. We went and greeted. And I showed them the people. I said to them, we are asking for so and so person, and they told me this is Kenyan or Bunokono. This is his story building. We went inside. We, we got into his room and then we saw a very fair uh, in complexion. <laughs> <laughs> she, she bleached her skin. <laughs> she bleached her skin. <laughs> the type that I have never seen before in my life. Behold, <laughs> she was a spy. Oh God. <laughs> the woman came down. <laughs> Even before you <laughs> talk about seconds. <laughs> I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. That time I had a rusty hat on. Already they had described me to her already. All of this one is like this, this one is like this. And that was how we were, they grabbed, they grabbed us. They, they pounced the lost and they pounced on the marabou. I told them this man has not done nothing uh, wrong. Uh, that was how they dragged us to their police station. Who pounced on you? I told them this man has not done nothing wrong. This legal is NIA. Okay. They did that. But this Yusufa, he sent the message and to them. That was why they captured us. When they took us to their place, police station, the police station, in a statement, they took our statements, said yes, you are in this country, we knew about your presence here, but we did not know that you could have all the moments of the family. And I, I told them what, what is it about? They said the problem that happened in Farifagan. I told them you have nothing to do with it. We don't know anything about it. They said, look, we know everything about your activities, and there's no need for you to try to hide anything here. I said to them, well, it's true, what you have said is the truth. But now, give us 24 hours and we will leave your country. What do you want to do? They said, we are repatriating you back to the Gambia. I said, well, taking us back to the Gambia. And they said, yes. I said, that is not going to be an easy thing. We spend the night there. So Amanda Adon, he la for general, for for he la police commander, and for me la mobile mode. The morning time, I think is the general police commander, but he's a very high official. Calling you for saying mobile, sambala Gambia. And said to us, now we are taking you to the Gambia. Kaya koko, brother, I couldn't name. I said to him, brother, and he said yes. Kaya, but in Tuli, problem mo ka Gambia. I said, but we caused a problem in the Gambia. 
you have arrested us and you want to return us to the Gambia. Prince Johnson. Prince Johnson. Atile Samuel Dofa. He killed Samuel Do. But why did he run away and uh, took Cyprus. refuge in Nigeria? Right now, I feel like it's a senator. Right now, here he is he's a senator. In Liberia. In Liberia. If I do something wrong in my country yeah. and you don't like me, 24 hours, give me 24 hours and I will leave your country and instead of taking me back. It's not nice that way. But it's because of money. They said there was an, an agreement between Gambia and Senegal. I said, well, so be it. Where I came from is much more difficult or hard than where you are talking about. The same one God who spared me from Liberia. And even if I return to Gambia, the same God, if he wants to spare me, he will spare me. They said, said, well, we are taking him. It took us in a special flight. They came and picked Suleiman Sar in Kaula. And we landed at the airport. Which airport? Airport Juma. No, from the Banyan International Airport. Our very own Banyan International Airport. Bejira drum Babuka Jala ko damfaira kamu nejele. As soon as I came down the stairs, Babuka Jala said to me, "Damfa, what are you laughing about?" Kamu nejele. I said to him, "What am I laughing?" Mahate damfa. I did not even answer. Mulendo Morocco no la ni adol sita jan adol sita jan. They took us in a vehicle. We are sat inside. Sila yal blue or sita la. Ayen kien kien ile. Yes, they we are coughed. But the book airport or dado. But from the uh, airport gate. Ka bonda president holo kana. You will come to Farid Hadamadi on the tap. You will think it's a president to come in. The highway was thronged with people on both sides. Nga 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 ganu mudalo. I think they told them that we we have captured the guys. That was why that large crowd came out. That was how they took us to the NIA. When they took us to the NIA, it was in the night. When they took us in, Bamba Dinka. Where they took us in is the place they call Bamba Dinka. But we are still naked just as we were born. And we were handcuffed behind our backs. And there were many mosquitoes. So there were many so the soldiers will put their pistols in the holes there and threaten to shoot me. And some of them will say, some of you are, you are lucky. If someone Sabali was here, he would have killed you. But Suleiman's injury, when they broke, they took us from there to another cell. But there too, we were still handcuffed behind our backs. And uh, I think we spent about two days there. Third day, some television. On the third day, we were paraded before the television. We spoke. After we, what did you say on television? The same statement I said. I mean, for example, I said, 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 I mean, what I said, yeah, the same thing that they came, found me in my house in Liberia. They mobilized me and took me to Liberia. Television. That was what I said on television. The same thing, the same thing I have said to them. Did you, did you say on television that you attacked the country? Yes. Were you forced to say that? Yes. What about? No. I did not force me. It was a plain confession. Yes. yes. Okay, proceed, please. After that, that was when the NIA started their work. We are interested in that. We are interested in that. We were handcuffed, handcuffed behind our backs. We were 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 handcuffed behind our backs. And whatever part of your body they are hit, they are beating you. If you charge a battery, charge from the machine men. The the machine that they used to charge car batteries. That is what they used to electrocute people. They will put one on your ear. One in your ear. One in your ear. But when they press that, 
Even while the, that air condition is on, you'll be sweating. Ah, it's a book called Membe Kerry. You don't even know what is happening. The paru be kerry wrong. The paru be kerry wrong. The beating is going on. on. The beating is going on. The beating is going on. When they are tired, they will take you back. Okay. Tell us who in the NIA was responsible for meting out this torture on you. Number one. Number one. Number two. Salmina drama number two. Salmina drama number two. No, we'll see that because Salmina. Salmina. It's not able to start a killing. He comes from the same place as I have come from. Na kordal silo lebi tema. There's only a, a, a path between our compounds. Yenda mudam besiri. And the day that I was uh, arrested and I was sitting there. Salmina ina foka ako nyingo manya na kesol tinya le nyingo yante sambala burwa la jato la yedomo. He said, these people, we should not waste bullets on them. We should just take them to the Burua uh, uh, Reserve and uh, throw, them the jetul, and throw them for the lions. Mm -hmm. I raised my head and I looked at uh, Salmina mm -hmm. and I bowed down again. Mm -hmm. The God who is one, Salmina came and found me in Mile 2. But I did not wish that for him. But just that in this world, people should be very and careful. And who else was responsible for torturing you? Baba Didin Jobate was there. He was not doing the beating. He knows he did not beat me. He was he present? Yes, he was there sitting down. Did he see you tortured whilst... Yes, he was sitting. Did he stop it? No. Uh, did, he, did, he, did he say anything about did he say anything about now and then, if they say they want to do something, I used to hear him make a phone call. Allow the interpreter. Now and then, when they want to do something, I used to hear him to tell them to stop. But that was not in all occasions. Would you say that he was against your torture? Sometimes he will refuse it, sometimes he accepts. I think sometimes when things get so very difficult for me, you feel sympathetic for me, and that is when he asks him to stop. In fact, what you are saying is that Baba Dinding Jabate, a lawyer, former attorney general, and one time judge, was complicit to your torture. I Baba Dinding Jabate, I am loyalty. I'm um, attorney general, I know what I'm justice minister. I found out that I'm going to be a very big thing. I'm going to be a very big thing. Yes, I can say that he was part of it. That is a serious accusation. Do you know that? I'm going to be a very big thing. I'm going to be a very big thing. I'm going to be a very big thing. I will not lie against him. In fact, he's my guy. It's not worth it. Arisambu. He's more wicked than one of them. He's the one who lights the fire. Because each time he comes in and goes out, that's when things start getting terrible. Why do you say that? When Harisambu comes, wherever he got his order from, I do not know. But he, he comes and tell, tell them, do not have any mercy for these people. Beat them, beat them mercilessly. So, 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 so you have mentioned three people as being involved in your torture. Odebari. You mentioned that, correct? Yes. yes. Salmina Drame. Salmina Drame. Mm -hmm. yes. Baba Dinding Jobate. Mm -hmm. Baba Dinding Jobate. Mm -hmm. And now you mentioned Harisam. 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 Unprompted, you mentioned Harisam. Bari. Uh, Mwana Mwana. Yes. Halimwana Mwana 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 Yes, I had forgotten about his name, but his name should have been the number one. Why do you say that? No, no, no. 
Maybe someone else will come here who will tell you about Harry Sambo's deeds. Harry and I, my mother, what to my position, Babu, but I call my easy. I do not know what position he held at the time at the NIA, but he thinks he was not the easy man. But what do you mean by uh, a position among easy? What do you mean by that? Nico, am I easy? Mm, he's so free now, bang. Well, I mean, the other name in Dolby Quokka, I will look at Buka Diam, but I take none of that carefully, I look at it. You know, these other ones, when they are doing their things, they don't talk. But when he comes, he tells them to beat him. And he doesn't hide it. So, so hear him say that yourself. In a sense, you are saying that he would come and order your continuous torture. Yes, that is a serious allegation. And that is what happened also. You are on the oath. Did he I order an oath and that is what also what happened? Did he order your torture? When he says beat, beat them up, then he gave the order. Yes. For how many times have you been tortured at the NIA? What no one can count that. God just spared us. How many times were you electrocuted? That is on a daily basis. But you had already confessed. I think they were just wicked or hard-hearted. Mm -hmm. Were you only tortured at the NIA? Were you tortured elsewhere? If you would excuse me a little bit, let's return to the NIA because there are things I have not completely said. When we were in the NIA, the entire time we did not have a chance to watch. One day they told us, uh, let's go so that you can take bath. I said to them, let's go. We went to the bathroom. Uh, the handcuffs were still in my hands and they told me to wash, take a bath like that. I said, no, well then let me go back. So all the time that we spent there, handcuffs were in my hands. All the, the time our hands were cuffed behind our backs. But that is also more uh, That is also wisdom because not everybody, not everybody can do it. Because when night falls, we used to remove uh, uh, move, uh, move it from the back and, and bring it to the front. And uh, when when day breaks, we we, we turn our hands how we do our that is wisdom. It's easy, but I will not demonstrate that here. No, we would want to see it. We would want to see it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, proceed. How, for how long are you detained at the NIA? For what you During November 13. From November 13 until January, that was when we left the NIA. What were you doing there? I was in the Balearan. Just sheer wickedness. We are just lying on the floor. Only a few were lying on the, on the beds. So at what stage were you returned your clothes? Kind of clothes. Yeah. Yes. Talk about them bringing back rocks to us. We'll get there too. I have forgotten one thing also. I swear by the Quran. What happened? I will tell I will tell And I will not leave the path. That is why we are here. The time that we were at the NIA. I don't know whether they used to be angry with us or what, I don't know. The food that they gave us was small, but the food came from the army barracks. And the senior officers, all of them that are in the National Army, there is no one amongst them who does not know me.
I'm not sitting here promoting myself. But I wasn't the type of soldier that uh, they would normally refer to as a bad cow. From from original NIAD. Whatever was uh, an original NIA, and the British were laughing, and uh, uh, that person was trained by the British, will be interrupted. All of them knew me. You are Fraser Juf and Arjani Samsar because Samsar is in Karalunu Masa Kongkoli. Fraser Juf and Samsar came because uh, Fraser Juf taught me in no, Samsar, Samsar, Samsar taught me, taught me in Pakaliba. Uh, Samsidin Sar. Samsidin Sar. Then not for Fraser Juf a major. And I told Fraser Juf who was a major. Kaya ko major ako yes. I said to him major and he said yes. I said we used to eat, but uh, not to our full. Our yeah. He said, that's true. I said, yes. Oh, I said, but I will uh, take the money to the bank. Uh, bank uh, he said, but I will tell the man in charge of the country. Samo. The following day, we used to eat until we throw some away. Um, you were happy about that? No way, I but still, yes. you are not giving back your clothes. Mm. Our clothes were not returned back. You yes. are still chained behind your back. Yes, and you are still sleeping there. with the mosquitoes in the cell. Ah, you yes, and we are still sleeping with the bare floor. Were you ever given medical treatment while you were at the NIA? Yes, Dr. Skewer came there. 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 Were you ever given the chance to speak to a lawyer? Yes, Dr. Skewer came there. Yes, Dr. Skewer came there. Yes, Dr. Skewer came there. Well, our lawyer, when, when we reach the stage where we talk about the court, uh, between November and January, were you given the chance to speak to a lawyer? No, it never happened. Why not? Because I was not sure what was going on. I was not sure what was going on. I was not sure what was going on. I was not sure what what happened to me at the NIA is what I narrated and uh, I think that is all of it. Now let's go to the prison. When we have been taken to mile two, Benta on Wednesday Levy. It was on a Wednesday. Because I remember in those days, on Wednesdays they used to cook convict. But that was during over the season's time. I think he was a band because a Julian who went to England had a problem. He was a former Zandam officer. At the time, David Coley was not yet around. Gabriel Sambaji, when they took us there, there was one. There from Sukuta called Dao, who was retired. I don't want to know mile two. You know, at the time, mile two, 97, 97, don't believe what I mean, mile two, some The time that we were taken inside and the condition of mile two today are different. You are not the same. Don't believe what I The day that we were going in there, Babar Kensan, they were only planks. Babar Kensan. Just empty planks. But they removed those planks from the, the room. Mosquito net control member from Bunda to your number one cell. And the old mosquito nets that were at the yeah, door at yeah, number one cell, the they went and removed them to the parent here. Those that are at the window and at the door, so that the mosquitoes would bite us. In 20 liter bidon, the 20 liter uh, uh, gallons, it was what they cut from the top. Over and there was no cover. And that was where we used ourselves on. You know, you went on a visit to Mile 2. But they never showed you a place called Kunta Kinte. There is a place called Kunta Kinte. There is a place they call Kunta Kinte. There is something they call Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte is somebody who is a Kabri, a Kabri, the, the, the boat that uh, took Kunta Kinte so went iron leg or iron leg the, the, iron, uh, the iron legs that uh, they put on Kunta Kinte when they were taken by the European. Oh, the shackles. Thank you. Oh, the shackles. Okay. 
Yeah, there. Don't forget to follow your own, your own tire. You can see The first time we arrived there, those were the ones that they used. They, they put on their feet. A handcuff of them blood, and their hands were cuffed. We lay on the empty floor. We were in that state. 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 We were in that We were in that state. We were in that state. We were in that state. We were in that We were in that state. We were in that state. We were in that state. My two, my two prison officers will follow. Even the my two prison officers themselves. Like who? Come to manual. Sefleya Jaju. I tell him. I tell him he can be there. Sefleya Jaju used to lead them. Burlamin Sisi. Burlamin Sisi. Mhm. Tiana Barabuka Molip. Tiana, but he doesn't beat people. Who else? And the manga plumber. And the manga plumber. There are two manga there, but Nico manga plumber today, everybody know him. There were two mangas, but if you uh, call him a manga plumber, everybody knew him. These were his torturers. Every day, every day, every day. If we were not beaten every day, they were assured that every week they were going to come to beat us up. And when it comes, he will tell us human beings, you have come to destroy this country. Mm -hmm. And when it comes, he will tell us human beings, you have come to destroy this country. This was the thing he constantly said until he had a problem with Sana Sabale. Who was that? Tell me, Jumati. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sefla. 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 Why were you beaten? I'm not going to be a bad person. I don't know the reason. But I already amount to do you doubt that more can do it? But by God's grace, every anywhere you go to the, in this world, yeah. there are always good people. Were they torturing you because they wanted to punish you, or were they torturing you at the behest of somebody else? For saying, kabi bato lipa kai bali lipa kani ko leftal kulu alivan wale mo le ya maro le ne bali lipa ka. Nunca itu lo kento lipa ladrong. And I can only say that they were just beating us up to please themselves. How many times were you beaten in mile two? Nobody can come that my, my brother. I said for two years we were in shackles. Complete two years. Complete two years we were on shackles. Our feet were shackles. When Osman Baji was appointed as interior minister. When he was, uh, he came for the visit. That was when those shackles were taken off our feet. From 97 to November 98, the shackles were our, on our feet. We lie down with them and we wake up with them. All. For two years. Complete two years, yes. Complete two years, yes. Nearly, nearly two years. Nearly two years. I want you to run us through uh, some of the torture sessions you went through at, at mile two. I left the Puyen Samba, a car, Tandimoli, in Liparusi, Fanyadili, called mile two. We are on the court water. During our court uh, time, a prison officer saw like a Tol Samba court. We were usually taken by prison officers. And then the court water, new court begala. But at that time, when the court is on, School didn't go back around more for until the school, the students never would, uh, would not, no, usually not go to school because they always wanted to see us. Because this was something that they never saw before. In the Kafaralin, the tall shirts, the sitting, what are you? Sitting, sitting, oh, shorts. We, we had no shoes on our feet. You know, but we were carry, And the chains were clinging and each other making noise. We were like a phone on box or something. And that was how we go, went into until we took the witness box. We were bonding each other. They never took that from our feet. We even someone like and someone on in truck all. And when they are taking us, they used to take us in a truck. Like a truck on Ilandi. They 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 will park the truck. Kilola. Under the sun. Oh, journey four months. Until around four. 
When the court comes to an end, when we get into the vehicle, they will tell us to lie down on the vehicle like that. We lie flat on our bellies. And the heat used to burn our bellies until we get to mile 2. When we get to mile 2 and you alight, before we get into confinement, we will be slapped and kicked and slapped and kicked until we get into the cell. We were in that state until the, our court came to an end. There has never been any day that we went to court and we were not beaten. Could you identify those that participated in torturing you? When I can uh, recall at that time, um, Jagaid. He was Did you leader. say Jagaid? Ah, Yes, he was a leader. Mm -hmm. He was issued a special vehicle at the time. He was the one there. How did he torture you, Jagaid? Yeah. 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 Huh? He does not beat anyone. Mm -hmm. But he was a commander. Mm -hmm. And when the beating mm -hmm. sessions were going on, he was always present, but he does not touch anyone. Would, did he have any authority to stop it? Yes, he could have uh, done so, but he never said it. Would you say that he was an accomplice to your torture? I didn't know Well, if you see a child beating someone and an elderly person is present and that person says nothing, it means that elderly person too is part of what is happening. So tell us who tortured you in the present of Jagaite. You know at the time I did not know so the soldiers. I don't think I know anyone amongst them at the time. A very hefty guy, tall guy. He used to beat people until he would tear their shirts. Which service did he belong to? He was a Bunda Juman. I don't know what section he belonged to. Prison, army, NIA, or police. He was a soldier. Yes. Only one said if I fight, he said captain now. And we don't have to in the back of. And one said he? Said he, I think it's from said he fight. Said he fight. They say he said captain now. We don't have to be in the back of. We did our childhood together with him in back of Kashi. And if I want or one day He too was a big torturer. Mm -hmm. And they say now that he's a captain. Tell us, tell us why you say he was a big torturer. I, I saw him with my own eyes beating people. Yes. He beat me myself. Yes. Yes. Well, you have mentioned two people who have beaten you. Yes. One day far. One day far. I'm mm -hmm. hmm? Uh, and you said the other torturers were Sefla Yaya Jaju, Mudula mm -hmm. or you said Tiana did not participate, no, Tiana, that is uh, Manga Plumba, mm -hmm. he participated, Jagai would be there, but he would not say anything. Mm -hmm. He also was a complicity to your torture, that's yeah. what you said. Yes. Who else participated in torturing you? But they might well think these are the only ones I know. Uh, I will not ask you about the conditions at Mile 2 prisons because we have received a lot of evidence on that. Mile uh, 2 because we are You know, when, when we were there, we were Mile 2, Mile 2. That time, Mile 2 was not like Mile 2. It was the only media and the media and the media. That time, even in the media, many yard, you had only uh, planks of wood. When we had some peace, was when some reprieve. 
Somebody free or was well. Deputy uh, Deputy Commissioner Jobate. When the Deputy Commissioner Jobate, more me I balafa solo. But in that samba parale, he was someone who was very very sympathetic. But he was moved to the para. Tell me about David Koto. He was under the same man, same man made. Because Sisa did not spend a long time there. That we told that tragedy complete six months. Because. I'll stay there for a complete six months. We'll be there in January. When they're in January, we'll be there in Gambia in January. I can't wait to see my bakery. And everybody knows that in the month of January, it's usually cold in the Gambia. But when we ask the guy for blankets, which we used to cover ourselves, I can't find the financial amount. We used to cover ourselves. I can't find the financial amount. We used to cover ourselves. I can't find the financial amount. We used to cover ourselves. They cannot provide blankets for us. But Allah de Marokan. But through the help of God, we are better than the most mellow people of our society. At the at the time, many great fathers and bajos find in Mali are dinner. But over the total of after six months, Jobate was someone who was sympathetic to us, and he tried and was able to secure some blankets for us. But that was only after six months. When was the first time you were allowed to see a lawyer? Sir, in other words, what did you mean by probably a lawyer's gig? Yani into the lawyer's gig. Before we could see a lawyer, International Red Cross knew all the follow-up on you. We met with the International Red Cross. Like how we start our work. And that was uh, the first time that we started to get reprieve. Was need for another prison because when they come to the prison, officer Bukatraji, there was usually no officer. Need for the prison to get a And you sit with them and have a discussion. And you can you can write later. And you can also write a letter. Near later, you survey to buy some by David Collier la Juve. And when you write a letter, yeah, they will take it to David Collier, and he will look at it. No, sir, some bit of family. And then they will take it to your family. You know what? All and to love, do love family. I'm called still we are alive. That was the time that some uh, of us, uh, some of some families of some of the inmates knew that they were still alive. When was the first time you met a lawyer? Lang alnada lawyer je wat jumal. Hmm, tuh la lawyer je o ni la tahu wat ulah de. Benda lawyer mu work for Robin Sok lembam malu. I forgot the time. Raymond Sok. Raymond Sok. Ha. I forgot the time, but our lawyer was Raymond Sok. Aling amate. Delete amate. And delete amate. Olam olam mula first lawyer di, baru olam fana government lawyers lem. They were our first lawyers, but those were government lawyers. You did not personally hire them directly. Angko katre fana leta. Ani government la di na. No, we were given them by government through the legal aid scheme. Lang, abare aliye soto legal aid aid scheme ol. Ola at na faliye soto. Yes. And did you see a lawyer any time in between the first three months of your of your of your arrest and detention? So I didn't have a lawyer. Jele, Allah muto follow le kab wakari sabol kuno. I didn't have a lawyer. Jele, no. Ente nga mera kabrimbe lawyer. Jele nga wajeb courthouse. Ente lewa nara man nama tu mane kana form ma tu mendi den na na appeal court. Allah muto kuno muto wakari sabol. We never saw any lawyer in Malto. So are yeah, you suggesting to us that you are represented by counsel who never spoke to you before your trial? Mm -hmm. Yes, that was what happened. In fact, at that time, you could not find any single lawyer who was uh, brave enough to defend us because everybody was terrified of the government. So you were prosecuted and convicted. Ah, yes. You are sentenced to what? Natal sorong purung nya 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 dile. Dolam follow dolam dead sentence for the ya jamila masakunda. We are the ones that we are first sentenced to death under ya jamila's government. That's June twenty June June twenty nineteen ninety. Until a court tariya tal ninety seven December ninety seven. Our court was less than three months lah. Our court tough. Our court was very quick. Not more than. Three months. Nun tola kodi ma ala loya loya taraji. They did not allow any lawyer to be present there. 
Lawyer was not in our court until the end of the day. You mean what happened to Mr. Raymond Sok? Didn't he appear? Mr. Raymond Sok was not in the court until the end of the day. Okay, he was sentenced. Yes, when we were being sentenced, he was there. How about the trial? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? The trial was there. So what do you mean by there was no lawyer? Sila niko lawyer mantra lori ngato yeji gal kabila kita. Ina mara kafunya refo kabila bemo maltu kome lawyer kanal jubeji. Ah no, I thought you were tanya. Ringa imo fu refo ongo ole lawyer tanya. This lawyer stood for us. This two. How did you plead to the charges? Sila ngata na jabro Kenya le ya two mina le o jabro Kenya le. Kodi ya mo ibe 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 sona two mro le ya kile. Well, if you, you you hear someone accepting uh, uh, allegations, it's something that one has done. Do not work critical than the council. Our case was critical, council. I don't know the problem we are having because the way our problem happened was. Man, you call like you are calling the before a contentant on book a question. When 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 uh, the 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 drummer's feet is on the the stick that they used to beat, the drum does not make noise. <laughs> you can't drum at all. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, did you plead guilty or you pleaded not guilty? Sila ngato le ni jabi son talo yal tu mimi na fal manson no kiti wato. Manson. We did not. What do you say that you you confessed on national television? Why not on a song or the letter? That you did. Or the letter. Most most songs most the letter, but not at a court. Some one can accept over television, but when you go to court, court for instance, no local a court. I mean for maybe a man can say what. The court may also be able to come to the conclusion that perhaps what he said was not through his own will. But in any case. Yeah, you are convicted. I not am sorry. You are sentenced to death. They are sentenced. You are sentenced to death. And this was in 1997. And you were in 1997. 1997. So how many years did you serve? I am in 19 years, for 9 months, or 19 years, 3 months. I think it's 19 years, 9 months, or 19 years, 3 months. And what happened? How did you come to be released? Sila ito natin na funti kaso ko na nyadi ni. Yaa jambe le padi no meng. Yaa jambe le padi. 2015. In 2015, the padi ni extended. The general padi in July 27. Yaa jambe le padi. General padi, yes. We were amongst those that were padi. While serving your sentence, were you ever tortured? Sila ang kabri bela, kabri yewe sorong yuna, inene yili palema. Ah, yes. Dalam maltu benyamin. The way maltu is, ente be dangro kerana ni aman sasano. I will appeal if the government should be able to do it. Don't phone me to offer lale. And we have been saying this for a long time. Ex prisoner, the ex prisoners, na mangka director, but not a deputy director. Even if one of the ex prisoner is not the director, but the deputy director, maltu be phone lale. Mile two will change. Or a prison prison mile two prison officer will be mile two. For the prison officer that had mile two, Councilor Walter mile mile two two falling nola. They cannot change mile two, Councilor. I don't know if you are back on because I can recall. Moja Marco Lojang. Many people stand here, especially director of the city, especially the current director. I call number five cell. That he said that number five cell ninety nine cell lebeji. There were ninety nine cells. What is he? That is not there. Do you 12 years like a number two, number one? I spent 12 years in number one. Not uh, seven years like a number five. I spent seven years in number five. Months. And some months. Number five, 90 cells. Lady. Number five is 90 cells. Rose, row non There are four rows. There are four rows. First row, 26 cells. 26 cells are there. The center row. Center row, 24 cells. 24 cells are there. Ampama. Ampama end. Uh, 28 lebeji. 28 are there. VIP. VIP. 12 lebeji. 12 are there. Yoke of Numa is 90. If you put that all together, it's 90. They, 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 they also have VIP? Yes. VIP is VIP is in the world. VIP, that was where we were. Although, because of the world, you can't go to the street, you can't go to the left. 
That is by the door. As you get inside, that's uh, the ones on the left. What yes. makes it so special to earn the accolade, VIP? VIP. number five. If you hear that an important person has come to number five, that is where the person goes to. That's where they take it from. That's where they take the people like Rambo. Halifa Salah was there. Which Halifa Salah? Halifa Salah killed. The same one, Halifa Salah. Ahmad Baba number four. I'm telling you, Ojil was number one. Ahmad Baba was number four. I was number four. I was number four. I was number four. I heard there was a who, who is who in my two prisons. You can have an entire cabinet. Except for the president in mile two. 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Council. Thank you, Mr. Damfa. Mr. if you have any questions, please indicate. Imam C, you have the floor, please. Imam C, Thank you, Damfa. We extend our greetings and also um, greet you in, uh, in for the hardships you have gone through. What I want to ask you about is the, your, the second half of your group that we are left in Tamba. What became of them? Thank you so much, Imam. This question is very, very important. Government has a lot of means. When we had that problem in Farafini, they did not do anything in Senegal. They said they killed some people in Gambia here and they ran and entered into Senegal. They went, arrested them there, chained them, and uh, brought them in that fashion up to Malto. But God always says with the truth. They have not done wrong and uh, anything wrong. I'm so when they went to court, they were all acquitted. Christian, only, Christian, only Abdurrahman spent 15 years. Christian no lab from Kodolo Biji, only Abdurrahman Marko, from all that matter. Sangitan no lab. Tomorrow, I'm going to be in the 15 years. It was in jail for 15 years and he never went to court. It was an, a Christian organization. Mr. Witness, could you kindly allow for interpretation so we can have the full gist of what you said? <laughs> Pardon me, it's the machine that is heated. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Samba, you have the floor. Madam Fa, be haku dani la, be yamfu fanan dani la, ibata minke fo Allahu taala sajo. We uh, express our sympathies for the hardship that you have gone through. May you be rewarded by God. After any minkala, let him buy la carola because what I mean is that kuko inoma. I want to ask you about your family because well, the time that you went uh, to meet kuko. I don't think your family knew about your whereabouts until the time that you were taken to prison. I want you to uh, clarify that portion for me. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Well, uh, human beings affairs are in the hands of God. I said here earlier on that my first wife was a Senegalese. I think when I left here, until I got into all of these problems, 
I think it was her relatives that were assisting her. But she sat, she sat and waited. But then I said to my mother, uh, the someone moment someone has sat down for six years, and here I am, I have been condemned to be killed. I have given her, uh, her, uh, her freedom. If she sees a man that she wants to marry, she can go ahead and get married. But, but how they were living in terms of their sustenance, I cannot say anything about it. So, it looks like you don't have any child. I have, I had one, uh, I had two, one died at a young age and I only have a daughter now left. Okay, thank you very much. I'm okay to vote. May she become a, a source of greater numbers for you. Commissioner Carr, you had the floor. Nice. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I have two questions I want to ask. The first one is you have interacted with Kukoi. What kind of person would you say he is? How would you describe him? When you betray a human being, God will betray you. There is no crooked person in the whole world. There is none that I have ever seen in this world. The reason why I'm saying this to you, you take people's children and uh, thrust them in the midst of battle, you don't even consider their rights, you don't even consider their, their sustenance, you have no sympathy for them, and then you remove them from that situation and put them into yet another thing. When we were imprisoned, we learned question of the other This your question is a very good one. Kugo in the region, Kugo came here, and he had a message for Kachata. He sat down with the region and he had a discussion. OJ don't know what he's talking about. OJ was in the newspaper, Jela. Who is OJ? When John Danfany was talking about Kaso, he had a Kugo in the Gambia, and he had a friend. OJ was the only one who wrote it on the newspaper, and we saw that. He said, "How can?" A uh, cook come and meet with the IJM when John Dunf and the others are in jail. And the one in And that was the truth. What did he say to them? I can't do it. He said we are headstrong. He could not control us in Liberia. We stole his documents and we came to the Gambia. And that was not the truth. All the problems that we got into was as a result of Kukwe. You say he wasn't a trustworthy person. He wasn't somebody that could be trusted. Yeah, in Fujiko, he come from one part of Mialongo, a man who is a namoti, a woman who is a lalal. Ah, Commissioner Kahabarak. Thank you, Commissioner Kah. Commissioner Kah, you are touching something here. Yeah, you have to come in the library. You see, even while I was in library, in Kambulu La Alain, we used to. And that prayer is what God answered. We used to say that our being here, if I told our going to the Gambia is to bring trouble or make him to the Gambia, let God not take us. That was our peace. If you had allowed Kukwe to have here and it became a leader in Gambia here, it wouldn't have been good. Final question is, you mentioned that there were many Gambians who had senior positions in, in, in various factions in, in Liberia. Including um, Kukwa himself. Do you know how they came to, to Liberia and how they became so powerful there? Uh, both came from Libya. So they came together. But don't, don't uh, judge him by what I'm saying. He's a very smart. Liberia. 
the, the fighting in Liberia or the war, half of it, half of it was controlled by him. And Charles Taylor from Mumbai, Mumbai Alonko. And Charles Taylor is someone who will know that at the moment he is not going to move forward. It is not like these other leaders. Kawandi do not need to to come to push other children, people's children inside in and then stay behind. Charles Taylor from Kenya, Kido, Kido Babu, like AK Muk, Sani AK Babu. Charles Taylor will carry his AK himself. And he goes to the battlefront himself. Don't last stop her because jet all uh, jet fighter left her far. We stopped him ourselves because so, he, he was uh, the jet fighters wanted to kill him. That was what. That was why we told him to stop going because he was not like other soldiers. Who would give up others? And he stopped himself. Because that was why we told him to stop going because he was not like others. Who would give others and then stay behind? Thank you. I'm sorry for what you went through. In number of back, in number of the mass call, me he meant that. Thank you very much, and, uh, Mr. Damfa. Two very short um, questions. Mr. Damfa, in Mbarabake, Nininkar, Fula Bembul Sutuman. The spy that you encountered in the car, uh, how did you know that um, uh, she was a spy, and uh, where did she come from? Any mom who knows me, take me to the car. I did not know that she was a spy. Chairman, Chairman, thank you very much. God has uh, endowed a human being. It's left to you, yourself. The woman, when I set my eyes on her, where I was, I felt, I knew it. He said, she said she came to look for the mother woman. But that was not her reason for coming. I said she came down from the, the, uh, the, the study building. Before you talk about two minutes, you know not until to arrest. These guys came to arrest us. They sent her to find her because I had arrested her on. They don't exactly. They told her to go to this house. There are two individuals there, and they gave them our description. So all and so, no sooner has she left than these people come to arrest us. So that was why I said she was a spy. Mike, Mike. My apologies. When you went um, to Liberia with uh, other Gambians, Yaya was not in power in the Gambia. What was it that motivated you young guys to be involved in uh, um, overthrowing governments, literally causing mayhem in the sub-region? whether or not um, all of you started your activities in uh, Libya or not. Sankare, Rawlings, Taylor, you name it, for the A lot of problems um, uh, in the region. When I was told that I was going to be able to get a little bit of 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 a little Thank you very much. I'll start off from Liberia. Yaman. Yaman. Liberia is a very blessed country. Uh, Liberia is a very blessed country. Liberia is 13 counties in Liberia. There are 13 counties in Liberia. And I walked, traversed all of them. You call iron ore. If you talk about iron ore, Liberia, it's in Liberia. And if you look at the car tires, you'll see firestone. Firestone, in firestone, firestone, Liberia. Firestone is in Liberia. The largest rubber plantation in this world is in Liberia. The largest rubber plantation in this world is in Liberia. It's a diamond or Liberia. If you come to the side of diamond, it's in Liberia. Babu, Africa, more, more, 
Kabrin Junior Road and Tulbe Tula Tubabo Nun Betra Hakil and Tubabo Nere Drum. Europeans used to come to capture Africans since uh, time immemorial, and we have continuously remained in that situation, so, suffering and just been uh, wasted. So, come on, killing for Liberia. I can tell you one thing about Liberia. Tenga Liberia ni nyame hal Liberia dingo malo. We I know Liberia. Even the citizens of Liberia don't know much about that country. I'm into the Liberia. And my going to Liberia. Maybe you see Gambia no, you see only hako dangi no. Maybe I can uh, uh, seek forgiveness from Gambia. Bi bi la ni mo mo konde te ta Liberia no bonu bata kono mbake la. But today, if uh, someone tells me go and uh, rescue Liberians from suffering, I'll do it. You see, tulo lo nanga mo mo esa. I want you to listen to me carefully, sir. Liberia mo mo be. Liberia road. Mana kili nebe Liberia. There is only one highway. From Bon County, uh, uh, Ganta. From Bon County, Ganta. At Monrovia. Going up to Monrovia. From Monrovia. From Monrovia. At Bichama. Going to Bichama. Liberia mo mo be mo very serious. Liberia is all gravel road. And Liberia is a rich country. And Liberia is a rich country. So where is the resources going to? They will not allow Charles Taylor to, to be in Liberia. Your this question is too simple. Let us be wise as Africans. The reason why they will not allow Charles Taylor to stay in Liberia. Liberia is iron ore. The iron ore of Liberia. 100 years he ever signed. They said they signed a 100 year. You, I am a big component of Bangu Sabala Soto. They had a 100 year lease and uh, it is found in three mountains. They are Kepa. It's in Kepa. Jine Konakri Asoto. Jine Konakri has it. Every coast has it. Every coast has it. Every coast has it. Every coast has it. The mountain. Someone can climb up. 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 But every year, fire breaks from, from the top there, and nobody knows how the fire starts. Liberia is a bad thing. Liberia is a bad thing. That's Liberia mining it. The other countries have not mined. But I remember Liberia is a bad The suffering uh, that is on the people of Liberia. Who can take that off Liberia? Liberia will be closed in the drone. Or will Liberia remain in this situation? And they have everything. But the white people are fooling them. When Charles Taylor was in power, he controlled Firestone. What was he doing there? He one a one when they used to uh, pay you 1,000 JJ, because we use uh, two currencies there. Our money is JJ. liberty. The one in uh, Monrovia is Liberty. So those who worked at Firestone, if they were paid 1,000, 500 would be US. 500 would be US. 500 JJ. 500 JJ. I will, I will introduce Mungeli. He introduced that there. Babol telefila wala. Europeans will not let this. Kilo mabete yade. War is not good. But war too makes other places. And to African Africans, let's rise up and do something about our situation. There's nothing in the Gambia, but Gambia is more developed than Liberia. There's nothing in Liberia which I can admire. And whatever you think of Liberia has it. Why was it that during the course of the war, they did not uh, do the court, uh, the, 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 the trials in Liberia? And the, and the this lady that's just left the presidency. She worked under you, she was at the UN. I read a little bit about her. 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 He locked her several times. And she was even supporting Charles Taylor. That was why if they want to trial Charles Taylor about Liberian affairs, 
they realize that if they want to use that, many people will be involved. And that was why they took it to Australia. Africans, let's do our All our lives we live in poverty when, in fact, we have everything that we live. I think those people ought to fight to achieve their peace. They took Taylor to Sierra Leone. It's no longer um, a secret that the Sierra Leone, Tijan Kaba and Ellen, Johnson Salif, were um, persuading um, the powers that be to move Taylor mm -hmm. from the region, from the sub region, West Africa, from Sierra Leone mm -hmm. and, um, to. Uh, Liberia, I mean to, to, to The Hague. Uh, I don't want to get into the thing the council is very much aware of um, uh, what really happened in that area. But let me just ask them uh, one last time a question. Oh, sorry. The um, friendship between Jamie and Taylor, when did it um, start? You guys were in uh, Liberia, to the Gambia, to try to overthrow Jammeh. Uh, how did he become a uh, friend of um, uh, Charles Taylor? Uh, I don't know the story of that story. Well, by what I heard, there's something between them. There's something between them. I don't know what it is, but until until I know memory. But what I heard, because Charles Taylor was wrong, do you know? Yeah, That some of Charles Taylor's weapons were with Jamie here. Oh, my God! The photo on the photo on the man. I heard that before. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. So, but now that Jamie, Charles Taylor, before Jamie could do that, I knew it already. But uh, if you see Charles Taylor telling us to go back because Jamie has uh, launched a coup, not so I suspect that there is something between them. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I think that is wild speculation. So, so we should consign it into the basket of speculation. Thank you. Absolutely. I think we know what really happened at some point. I wanted to just um, hear from you. What you thought the perspective was you were on the ground. Mm -hmm. There were lots of things that uh, were coming out that uh, uh, perhaps you weren't um, uh, aware of. But again, thank you so much um, for coming to uh, testify before the uh, commission. If you have any final remarks to make, please proceed. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Praise God. I'm Mario Tendusinya Saba. I thank my maker three times, the Kabin TRRC Master. Since the inception of the TRRC, I don't say that it happens in uh, I have not, I, I have not uh, been following, uh, fully, I have not been following everything, but not the many occasions. You are doing a good job. TRRC man for Gambia. TRRC uh, is not the first time it's happening. But the Kabin TRRC lota. But since it was uh, established, the atmosphere there has been a lot of talk. You know there is something about Gambians. And that is what is uh, surprising me or mm. about human beings. If you don't speak the truth, you will speak lies. How many years did Jara spend here and uh, there was no TRRC that was established? If you see the TRRC being established, something happened. So, therefore, what should we do? Let us al allow the TRRC to do its work and uh, holding on the belief that what happened, let it not happen again. Even God, who created human beings, He forgives. If uh, God used to uh, follow us, then at this time the whole world would have been uh, completely destroyed. Because every day we are doing contrary things to His wishes. But God does not look at that. 
So let the people take care and see us. In the other people who come to make peace everlasting in this country. Many things have been said. You can more your like buri etadiam. That people have been paid to go there and testify. You can mention them, ten, ten, ten them. And what they say is this and this. And you couldn't come and get the bomb or somebody caught to murder. You couldn't even be killed. And yesterday, what was happening when people have been taken to court? Are they getting more being arrested? All of that happened in the presence of all people. But in Mandiam, but no one spoke. But on the intercession of no more. So for me, what I can say to the people, especially Gambian all, especially Gambian, I'm not TRRC. Bulele do koke. Let us allow the TRRC to do its work. We be careful in the kang bro bankoye. They are seeking for peace for this country. You mean bonta ubuka kono kote? The water that has spilled cannot we say we be recovered. TRRC be tonya ninola la. TRRC is seeking for the truth and we be tonya londi la lafana. And they will establish the truth. So the government be banko mo dani la. So I appeal to the citizens of this country. Diamo shiata. There is a lot of talk. Barna TRRC bule yele do koke. But let us allow the TRRC to do its work. Ha ye tombo ne pu yele do koke. Yes, they have been selected to do their work. And we do cook in the band. And they are doing a very fine job. There is one thing I want to say. They were they jackal the Gambian wala kuwa. I'm very surprised with Gambian. Sanyi mwa ni fula. For 22 years. We buka moda kamu dia mo mo imba. We don't hear anyone speak. Je mo be say mo be kabe kila jaloti. So now everybody wants to become a green. Charles Silo kafu la kunu kafu la where where are you before? Charles Silo, this is what he used to say. He used to say that was that was his motto. Kafu la kabe rabu burite bemi. He used to say when things were tough, where were you? And what about Kerry Jam? And that is what is happening here now. Mo buka kila dia mo la. Yesterday people were scared to speak. Mo be kabe kila dia mo la. Today everybody is a speaker. That is surprised. So I appeal to the people of the country. Let us allow the TRRC to do its work. It's peace that they want to restore. And we pray to God that uh, the, that the mission that they have embarked on, that He will bless them and enable them to complete it. Uh, in, in, uh, to complete it well. Uh, apart from that, I will now appeal to the entire Gambian population, the citizens of this country. When you see things happening in the country, you have to say, I uh, am aware of what was happening in Jawara's government. The election contest between Sirif Diva and uh, Jawara Gambia was very nice then. We used to play around with each other. You feel it may go see and kick seed and killing them. This is something where you had you have only one city bang in the Even if a hundred people are seeking for a clean donation lack, there is only one person who is student. That people unite and become one. And look out for the interest of the country. And not our individual interests. You have more of that now in this country. It is not worth, uh, politics is not worth that. Let's come together and become people who are like from the same mother and father. Anyone, wherever you are, you know just uh, stay in your position. That doesn't mean that you should be enemies. Let's look at other countries and see the examples, see how they are. The way they are managing their affairs. Let's also try and manage our affairs in that manner. We don't have any other country other than the Gambia. Well, my... Travels have not been very far and wide. Gambia But I know that in Africa here, there is no country like the Gambia. The peace that we have here, the humanity and hospitality we have here, I don't see it anywhere else. So let's not allow politics to be a source of solution for us. All these people are only tussling for one seat and only one person will sit on it. And whosoever God anoints is the one that will sit on that seat. After that, President Adam Barrow, President Adam Barrow is the head of the state. 
is the one that uh, God has put in the position. Whether you hear what I say here or not, but we are people who have also suffered a lot in this country. For 19 years and several months, someone is in prison, and now you are released, and what you are charged for, others were not charged with that. Some others are there enjoying. Those who beat you up and did all sorts of things on you, some of them are in government enjoying. So those people, they are suffering their hardship. What is it? We appeal to him to also look at our affair. We are also citizens and we suffered for the country. No matter how one takes it, what whoever will take the message there, whether he does it or doesn't do it, we are all beaten with the same stick. And the former president, Kabri Yaja, may be Padimokela. And the former president, when the government was uh, granting that pardon, he did not discriminate. He pardoned all the political prisoners. Let him also do the same. I think that is what should happen. I appeal to him. Since God has, has put him in the position. And he is the one that uh, God has imprisoned. Let him think about our Christian family. Since we too are family, people who are family. However, it is if you don't enjoy in one government and there is a no go new government, you should also enjoy in another government. Since I left prison, this is five years or months. I have nothing. So I appeal to him for that. And uh, lastly, uh, Many people came here. They did not say it or they have forgotten. Mile two. Mile two. Yeah, I jube. Let him look at it. Mile two. Mile two. But then I jube. I appeal to him. Let him look take a look at it. Many people came here. Many people came here. Many people came here. Many people came here. Those who have long sentences. Let him look at their cases and have some sympathy for them. Former President Jame. Former President Jame. I record the break. He broke a record. Who came as a banning for Abula? 300 people and more. He released sentence them. Some were on the death sentence. Life sentence. Some life sentence. Do 20 years them. Some 20 years. Who do feel if in the middle of Musoni do not need to be cool do nothing. They are out now with their wives and children and they are engaged in other activities. I am okay. So I appeal on their behalf. Let him pardon them. Please let him pardon them. My two is not easy. My two is not easy. If you don't spend a long time there, you wouldn't know. Many came here to the TRRC. They spoke, but they did not talk on about the mild two. When I sit down, sometimes I want to cry. My two is not is not okay at all. Especially confinement. Number five. Number five. Mukaburoli. That is a cemetery. Women to the roof and yell, 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 yell. People are there for many, many years. And human beings are not perfect. I am many, many people are in Allah Padin or 2015. All those that I am a part in 2015. I have not heard of one single one of them who has returned back to the city. I have not heard of one single one of them who has returned back to the city. Maybe those who do the small men pardon. Some of the thefts here who are taken and brought back. But those that were pardoned, many of them know that what they have done, they regretted it. So I appeal to the president to look at them because mile two is not a good place. Those who have been there for a long time, let him have mercy for them and release them. This is my statement. Thank you very much, my fabulous remarks, and Mr. Damfa. The first three points that you mentioned concerning the TRRC, 
that uh, there is a lot of talk um, uh, yeah. in the country. Well, this is the era of um, uh, free speech and uh, free expression. Mm -hmm. They can say whatever they want to say. But we have been saying from this um, uh, here that there is a tremendous public support um, for the commission and the work that it, it is doing and it's not just um, uh, limited um, to what is going on here in the Gambia but our friends and partners outside are uh, also following the developments here so I think there is some support for the work that we are doing and the second point those who allege that um, witnesses are paid to come here I wish we had money to do that <laughs> and uh, uh, the last point um, since our establishment we have not had any interference from the authorities um, here we do our work we cooperate with them uh, uh, then in the areas that we would need to cooperate with them but interfering with the work uh, no, they are allowing us to do our work very freely. And uh, the last thing I would like to say that um, the Republic Gambia Everybody would hear it if there is any interference um, with what we are doing. But again, thank you so much um, for your testimony. And for um, coming to uh, uh, appear before us. This brings us um, to the end of the proceedings um, for today. We will resume. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much. The meeting is adjourned.